Hi, welcome to Jay Lawrence Photography. This is my weekly photography vlog. The main thing that I photographed this week is the second Glenfest event at the Joiners in Southampton. This was a fundraiser for a number of mental health charities in memory of Glenn Lovell. I spoke about before uh, on my previous week's vlog. Um, if you're not sure, go and have a look. It was an amazing thing to be part of. I've already posted a load of photos on my Facebook page and a few on Twitter and Instagram, so go and have a look. There were quite a lot of bands around the night. It started with Dan O'Farrell with his Difference Engine, a fantastic band uh, and great bunch of guys. And then uh, there were a whole plethora of different acts, um, right up to uh, Grant Sharkey with his uh, satire comedy burlesque, apparently. I think I remember saying, uh, hearing him say, I need to get into costume and I knew what was happening and said, oh God, rather quite loudly. So I apologize for that, Grant. I appreciated the costume. Go and check out the pictures. Followed by um, the second time I photographed Band of Skulls. Uh, what an amazing band. Saw them playing at the Joiners earlier in the year for the 50th anniversary show of the joiners, not of Band of Skulls. And uh, this time around they played an acoustic set and I was really excited to see them play and they had the added benefit of a, a string quartet. Uh, they'd only practiced once with them earlier that day, so God knows, as, as a musician myself, I can't believe that it was so per perfect, so pristine uh, performance. So amazing job guys to, to everyone uh, from the quartet to the Band of Skulls. And really excited because they're one of my favorite bands and they, are they were talking about releasing music next year. So really looking forward to that. Also playing was Glenn Lovell's daughter, Ava. She was just incredible, amazing voice. And so young as well, I, you know, if she doesn't become a musician, that'll be a crime. And then finally, uh, the headline for the night was Dead, Dead, Dead. Uh, a lot of people who are younger um, watchers of my channel won't know who they are. Um, I didn't really know a lot about them. I was speaking to one of the owners from the Joiners and they were saying, you know, back in the day, they were selling out the Joiners every time they played. And they, they were an amazing live show. And my God, I can see why. They were really, really good live band. Um, they are retired nowadays and they uh, they made a joke about how they only come out for these sorts of charity events um, but if they do come out for another event you know make sure you go and support them because you will have an amazing time watching them I also have um, some photos and videos of me in action here um, this is on account of the fact that I got a load of friends to come along on Saturday and take some photos and videos of me while I'm shooting so thanks very much Grace and good work Jesse's Photo Week. This week I'll be mostly photographing live music. Obviously this week I've been going through the photos from the wedding from last week. I'm still editing through those but it won't be long till I've got through them all. Um, so I'm ho holding that as a major priority. This coming week I've got a couple of gigs coming up, so tomorrow night I'm really excited. I've got Blossoms at the O2 Guild Hall in Southampton. On Saturday I'm photographing local lad Sean McGowan on his uh, sold out show at the 1865 in Southampton. Uh, I'm trying to get this video done really quickly so I can go and listen to his interview. Uh, he's being interviewed by John Kennedy on Radio X. Um, if you don't get a chance to see it by the time this video goes out, um, go and listen again, uh, Radio X on the app or on their website. Um, I'm sure it'll be, John Kennedy is awesome. And so make sure you go and have a listen to that. On that note, one thing that I'd quite like to say very quickly is that I know a lot of people who go and see a lot of big bands like, um, you know, they go and see the Foo Fighters or Rolling Stones and things like that, and all their big shows. But actually what's really important in the music industry is where all these guys came from. Um, so a story that um, Dead 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 said told us all um, was that in his early days when Glenn was um, uh, promoting them, he got them a show with this newly signed act that they were supporting um, a little band you might have heard of called the arctic monkeys 
wherever you're watching this from, go to your local small venue, go and see some bands because they could be the next big thing. It's definitely worth keeping an eye out. Like, you can't believe the list of people who've played at the Joiners before, and it's a tiny venue. You know, most of these bands are like five, ten quids um, to go and see them. So go and check them out. That's it from me, loads going on this week, so keep an eye on my social media. I know I promised videos from uh, the interview with Paul Newton, Magician. Uh, that'll be coming up in a few weeks time, so keep an eye out for that. If you wanna make sure you see it, hit the subscribe down below and, uh, and hit like and share if you want to. Speak to you again soon, bye.